<laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. I. Hallelujah. It is all to all in Jesus' name. Good morning. Good afternoon and good evening. Depending on the country, I hear the sound of my voice. My name is Prophet Samuel Emmanuel, your dream counselor. And please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I beg one of you subscribe to my channel. And also, if this channel is blessing you, kindly contact the number shown on your screen to bless me. Number three. Before I say anything, just give this video a like. See the like button there, Oga. See the like button there, madam. Press it. Just click it. Like this video before I continue. Otherwise, I just close the video now. Cut off. Oh yeah, like it. Like it. Uh huh. God bless you. Every hand that like this video, your hands shall contact blessing. Every hand that like this video, your hands shall contact open doors. Every hand that like this video. You will not like in your marriage you will not lack your business you will not lack nothing you do in this life that you will lack in the name of jesus so uh if you have not subscribed can be subscribe god bless you in the name of jesus and today i want to quickly talk about the realm you operate determines if the supernatural can work with you or you work with the supernatural i repeat the realm you operate determines if you work with the supernatural or the supernatural will work with you not many people uh, are saying uh, I, I i went to a church or I went to a prophet, I went to a pastor, I went to a prayer house, and immediately I get there, the man of God lay hand on me, and it works. Some of them will say, oh, the moment I get to a ministry, the God of that ministry bless me. Uh, most people will say, uh, the moment I know this man, my life change. You are all right. But one thing I'd like you to know is this. It's not everybody that supernatural work for. There are people that command the supernatural. There are people that supernatural give excuse or give a mandate or give things to do. And if you are working in that shoe or in that class, that supernatural gives a demand you can't sell <laughs> you can't sell you must work with the supernatural you must break the protocol of the supernatural you must tell the supernatural what you want i'll give you a story you remember Jesus? The Bible said there was a day himself and his disciples they take a walk. And the uh, Bible said Jesus saw a fig tree out there. And he walked and approached the fig tree. And he, he told the fig tree, I curse you. When Jesus walked very close to the fig tree, he discovered that the fig tree has no fruit. But the fig tree gave Jesus a good reason why it has no fruit. <laughs> the fig tree told Jesus, it's not yet my season. <laughs> it's not yet my time to bear fruit. <laughs> we tell you that everything works with season, but Christ don't work with season. <laughs> People that carry the anointing don't work with season. <laughs> People that carry grace, <laughs> they don't know what is season. 
<laughs> Imagine <laughs> three <laughs> three they create Jesus. <laughs> Let me my sister to bear fruit. <laughs> when when the owner of the tree, <laughs> they will be three. <laughs> the owner of the the owner of the tree, the the the, the father of the fathers of the tree. Is it the tree? Tree is telling Jesus, it's telling my time to be a fruit. Can you imagine? <laughs> Bible said Jesus caused it. Jesus laid curse on it. So I curse you. No man shall eat from you. I don't know who has who God has caused. I don't know who your father has caused. I don't know who your mother has caused. I don't know the excuse you have given your church, the excuse you have given your marriage, the excuse you have given to that man, to that woman, that today you are passing through pains. Let me tell you, Jesus caused the fig tree. And the Bible said right from that moment, the fig tree with that died immediately. That's powerful. Now let me shock you. Jesus was over 30 years. Imagine a, a man over 30 years walking very close to a tree. You know, we have a cherry. You know, cherry, cherry does not bear fruit by this time. Cherry bears fruit by December. Everyone that knows cherry bears fruit by December time. And mango bear fruit by by April, May, thereabouts. And a grown-up man of over thirty years walk up to a a mango tree by December, and demanded fruit from mango tree. In your mind, that man must be very stupid and mad. Two things enter my mind when I read about that story. Two things enter my mind, and I want you to learn those things. One, there is something that Christ knows that even the disciple that is walking around him don't know. There is something that Christ knows that I, I don't know. And that is why he walked to the fig tree. He don't work with season. He break protocols. I prophesy upon life of seven people here that can talk amen and drop in this comment section. God is coming to your life to break protocols. I say God is coming to your situation to break protocols. I say God is coming to that marriage to break protocols. That barrenness that has been there for years, God has broken them up. That sickness that has been tormenting you for years, God is breaking them off. That sin, that chronic sin that is eating up your money every time, God is broken them off. You are delivered from now in the name of Jesus. Christ is causing them. Whatever that is not giving you fruits, Christ is causing them. Whatever that is not giving you joy, Christ is causing them in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, Jesus caused the fig tree. And after then, Jesus walked away and the fig tree died. That means to say, there are people that walk with the supernatural. There are people that are above the supernatural. <laughs> there are people that walk with time. There are people that walk outside the time. That is our Almighty. He walks outside the time. He walks in the eternity. Like now, everywhere the day is bright and fair. Oh, happy day, the day of joy. The day is clean here in Nigeria. But do you know there are some country the day is dark. There are some country the day is is dark everywhere that country now they are sleeping my god walk in eternity i wonder when the trumpet is sound some people 
will be righteous in the night. Why should we be righteous in the daytime? Because like this, some people, when the trumpet sound, we are in the afternoon. For example, trumpet sound now in Nigeria. The righteous will just disappear daytime. Like many people in some United uh, States, in some European country, they are sleeping now. They were righteous in the night. So God works in eternity. He never base on any level. He works over level. Bible said Jesus caused the fig tree. He caused the fig tree. That means to say, there is no situation my father will walk into that will not respond. <laughs> No situation my father will walk into that will not respond. I came and I prophesied as an oracle. My father is walking into your situation. I said the God I serve is walking into your situation. He's breaking that protocol, that barrenness, that sickness. He's taking barren, he's taking the yoke off your neck. Those things that says not to work in your life, my God is breaking them down. In the name of Jesus. Please, if you are not share this channel, quickly share this channel. If you are not share this channel, quickly share this channel. Quickly share this channel. And if the channel has blessed you, give this channel a thumbs up. And if God is favoring you through this channel, there's a number showing on your screen. Come you can contact me and say what God is going to do in your life. And let's go to do that. God bless you all in Jesus. Now I love you all. Please click follow me on this channel. It's a blessed channel that has blessed so many people. It's well with you in Jesus' name. God bless you.